Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video today where we're going to be talking about Yoru and a complete breakdown of how his guide works and a couple of tips and tricks that you can use within your Valorant matches. So let's get right into it. Every agent, especially Yoru, has four abilities. So first things first, we have to fake Yoru clone. Now, on our screen, it looks blue. However, on the enemy screen, it doesn't. It looks like a perfect replica of Yoru. Next, we have the flash. And all, all you have to do to activate the flash is... You bounce it off an uh, object, and then about two, one, the one and a half seconds, it will start to flash. So I can throw it as far as I want, and it won't start to flash until it hits the surface. Next ability, we got Yoru's TP, and it's a pretty simple t ability. All you can either place it in a singular location, or you can just launch it in a straight line. And then you have the option there to either take it or fake it. So for me, I just hit R2, and I take it. However, if I want to fake it, for me, I just hit R3. And for the next ability, we have the Yoru ult. And when you're in this ult, you can launch your TP, you can flash, and you can also launch your decoy. You can literally use all your equipment within it. You're perfectly impenetrable. The only thing that can mess you up is actually a Sage Wall. A Sage Wall is the only thing that can block your path. Everything else that off the top of my head, you're able to just go straight through. But when it comes to Yoru tech, it really evolves around what happens in the moment, okay? So first things first, the basic Yoru stuff is... I like to start my basic Yoru, launch maybe a TP onto the other side of the map, and because it goes in a straight line, I can predict of where it's going. So just because it goes in a straight line, it will curve around any angle. So when I want to TP or I feel like they're not going A, I can just TP right over, maybe launch another one the other way and get ready for a gunfight. So for offense, you have two options of what you can do. You can throw your TP on the other side of the map, or you can do a quick rotation or such, have an easy escape. The TP is there, so you can provide a quick and easy escape route to prevent the enemies taking you off. It's a get. It's almost a get out of jail free card when you're engaging in multiple gunfights. So that TP is there. I come up here. I maybe I get one, maybe two, and then I pop out and I'm ready to rotate onto the other side of the map while the enemy has to decide, okay, where am I right now? Did I fake it or did I TP? So for offense, you actually have a second option you can do. And you can also do this on defense when you're engaging on retakes, but majority of the time you'll be using this on offense. So what some Yoru players do is launch their TP into sight, perhaps then launch their flash, and then bam, you're in a gunfight. Now, this play is a very high risk, high reward. However, it is very easy to counter depending on players' comps. You really need to coordinate with your teammates who are coming out of hookah or coming out along with you because you might either flash them or you're basically separating from your team and potentially you just gave the enemies a 1v1, an easy 1v1. However, guns like the Shorty, the Bucky, the Stinger, they have a very fast equip, so maybe the Vandal or the Phantom are the best option for a play like this. Sometimes you want to pop it, get ready for your flash. And then the Bucky is technically a lot faster compared to the Vandal or the Phantom when you pull it out. To understand the perfect timing of this play, first of all, you need to understand when to TP and when to flash. Because if you do it too early, you're going to flash yourself. If you do it too late, the enemy, by the time you pull out your gun, will have already recovered from the flash, and it's just a simple one tap from them. Now, my biggest tip when you, especially when you're entering with the TP, don't do it every round. It, it gets kind of predictable, and uh, enemies start easily playing around it, because all you have to do to avoid a flash in this game is look the other way, direction, right? So if we know the flash the TP, your root play is coming, he looks away, bam. He's not flash, and he's an easy one tap. You really want to mix it up, and also, Really note, avoid keeping back of sight. Now, Trevor, what do you mean? Like, don't you want to gain the most optimal position? Well, that's true. The problem is majority of the players, especially when there are three stacking a site, they'll be playing back here, unfortunately, like back of B site. So to actually counter this, a lot of your root players go here. Bam and bam. Okay. It's better to TP in front of the site and then play back because you've already entered as for your team. However, if I go here, there's a high risk reward. 
and you might get lucky but you might not because you don't know exactly what's behind you by the time you tp out here you're so vulnerable this is a 50 50 gunplay and depending on if you mess it up you're in the heat of the moment you're so vulnerable probably one of the best aspects of this kit is the flash the flash is so unpredictable it's ridiculous it's just that ridiculously good so for example yeah again to recap to activate the flash all you have to do is bounce it off the surface and it'll go or to play around that is sometimes you want to play close to a wall and then you can peek or throw it off behind you peek and bam and then you got a free kill now some other tech you can do is when you're around like these double boxes or anything or these single boxes one of the best flashes in the game if you just look down it'll pop right up and it'll explode up here and it will explode over top of the box and it's a bit it's a pretty much a free kill all you have to do so all you have to do pounce up and then pull your gun out and it's a free picking definitely some higher level your replay and the exact same thing applies back here if you want to peek Kuka, bam If I, again, if I want to peek Kuka, I can just bounce it off here and peek. I can bounce straight up and peek. You have so many options when it comes to this flash. It's not, it's just quite good. For a lot of these plays, it's universal to all sites. So for A, the exact same rules apply. I pop down and I'm ready to engage the gunfight. However, I might not want to do that. Perhaps I want to bounce it off the box. Like there's so many options you can do with this flash. That's why I think this flash is actually one of the best flashes in the game. However, you don't know how to use it properly. It can also be the worst flash in the game. Now, another tech that you can also do when it comes to Yoru, especially when you see these high level Yoru players, is when you see smokes down here so this is a very common smoke area if i want to get out of it unlike phoenix or all i have to do is l1 r1 for myself and then i can pop right out of the smoke however for your roo the smoke you have two options you can bounce it like this you can bounce it straight up the your roo bounces high enough that it will actually explode at the top of the smoke just like the double boxes think about the smokes they're usually the size of the double boxes. So you can either bounce forward or bounce straight up. Or another option is if I want to maybe get a different pick and bounce it over here. I'm safe. As long as the flash explodes behind you, it's probably the best idea. Next ability is not his best ability, but in... In the heat of the moment, it's probably one of his best. So the fake Yoru clone, it looks pretty simple. And when you're engaged in gunfights, it looks pretty clone. Like you can tell, right? However, in the middle of a gunfight, people are intense. They get their adrenaline going. Sometimes like it's just a fake Yoru clone goes up and then it ex then as soon as the enemy shoots it, it explodes, flashes them, and then you can peek off of it. The clone itself is a good way to bait out a lot of Sentinel tech. So it will trigger a cypher uh, trip. It will trigger the alarm bot for Killjoy. It will trigger the deadlock, I believe, sensors. The clone will also trigger chambers trip as well. So if you want, if you're hitting a site and let's just say the cypher has a really good trip and your team is constantly struggling with it, all you have to do is throw your clone out. We'll take it. You can shoot it. And now you're onto site. You can definitely use the Yoru clone, like kind of like a fade dog or a sky dog where they go out, they gather information and bam. However, if you want to be ballsy and there's definitely some tricks you can do where you can pretend to be the fake clone. And then surprise the enemy team. It doesn't work always because eventually it's going to get to the point where they're just going to shoot the clone. And especially on Valorant console, everything you see, you shoot. So I wouldn't recommend doing it at the current moment, but eventually you might get lucky once in a while. Now, if you, again, this is a high risk, high reward. If you're alone on a site, 
definitely try to do this tech maybe throw the clone in a specific location that you're playing an off angle to and unlike pc console has the ability to just hit one trigger you don't even have to look at them to activate the clone so if i'm playing in this corner and i have my clone mode here that i placed just before i went into this corner all i have to do is as soon as i hear enemies pick it it will probably explode and then i can swing off the clone now when it comes to the alt the alt is bar none probably the best ultimate in the game you can do so much with the alt you can do everything i talked about and more because you are invincible within the alt you have just a little tip so when i go into my alt form i can i can set up a play where if i want to maybe attack a guy over here i can throw here i can play over here maybe And bam. Okay, he might shoot the clone. He might do something. It's all about deceptive play. Now, another tip you can do is com combine it with other alts or other abilities. Now, another tip you can use the alt with, and this is very cheesy and it will piss a lot of people off, the fact I'm talking about this. If I go in it and I have an enemy, like, let's just say right here, I can body block them. Like, they literally cannot move, and I can just tell my Sova, alt in this location, or I can get my breach to sun this location. Or if I get an enemy, like a lot of it is like breach, 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 stun me, stun me, stun me. That's why Yoru and Breach is a very strong combination, especially in pro play and especially in rank play. Hasn't hit ranked console yet, but I'm assume, assuming as soon as this guide hits out, if you ever play with a duo, the Yoru breach combination is bar none one of the best. When it comes to simplicity. Now I'll say this. Yoru basically has the exact same settings as every other agent. There's only one setting in the game. That needs to be on a specific a toggle. For any of Yoru's tech to be effective. When, it com when he's coming out of his TP. When he comes out of his ult. So I'll pop right over there. And show you. Go under controls and advanced. And I need you to auto quit priority. The most recently equipped okay so the reason why i put it as this is when i ep out or i come out of my alt i can pull out my bucky i can pull out my shotgun and it'll be the primary thing i pull out and you also got to be careful if you don't have before you go into this alt and you have your knife you will pull out with your knife you need to pull out with the weapon you want prior before going into the alt so that's it for the video, everybody. Hit that like and subscribe down below. Don't be afraid to comment uh, what you thought of the video. And just comment next. What agent should I do next? So I'll see you next time, everybody.